significance of uh, 50 years ago, uh, October 20th, 1967. On this, day, on this date, 50 years ago, Friday, October 20th, 1967, the most debated and, and talked about piece of circumstantial evidence concerning the Sasquatch question happened, and of course I'm referring to the Patterson-Gimlin film. It was shot in the banks of Bluff Creek, Northern California in, in uh, Del Norte County on, on this day between 1 and 1.30 p.m. on October 20th, 1967. Now, do you remember when you first saw this film? Oh, no, quite frankly. I think the first time I saw the film was on a show called, um, television show called You Asked For It, which used to be on in the early 70s, talking about people would phone in and ask questions about things. Um, the Loch Ness Monster, things like that. And for some reason, they did an episode on as Bigfoot as it's known in the United States, and of course the film was the main subject of the program. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I heard of it. And then I read about it in an old Reader's Digest book. Uh, I can't even remember if that was before that or after that. But it was a long time. When I was a kid. Now, did you did you already have an interest in Sasquatch? Before? Oh yes, oh yes. I I've been fascinated by the subject of Sasquatch ever since I was old enough to read, but I didn't start research myself. I'm not as old as a lot of people think. I didn't start research myself until the late 1970s. But it was you were your interest in it was well before you even saw this video. Oh yes, oh yes. And it was 16 millimeter home movie. They didn't have video back then. Right. Yeah. So. It, Roger Patterson used what is known as a spring-wound Cine Kodak K100, hmm. which was a spring-wound movie camera that he rented from a camera shop in Yakima. And he was basically shown how to aim it, and how to shoot it, and how to reload it, and that's all he knew. Right. As a matter of fact, uh, there was a warrant issued for his arrest because he failed to return the camera on time. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Patterson I never met. But uh, he rented the camera, failed to return it, and he issued an order for his arrest. <laughs> now, what to this day, do you have any new thoughts that come into your head about the, the Patterson-Gimlin film itself? Like, do new things spring to your mind when someone mentions something? Uh, are you constantly finding new... If the Sasquatch does indeed exist, I believe Roger Paris and Bob Gillen filmed one on October 20, 1967. If it does not exist and never did, it's one of the greatest hoaxes ever pulled on the North American public. Right. Because it was brilliantly done, especially back then. Yeah. Uh, if the Sasquatch exists, and I do believe it does, I personally believe that Roger Patterson and Bob Gillen filmed one on October 20, 1967. Have you been to this film site? I've been there twice. I was there once in 1983, where you could still basically recognize it, and the second time was 2003, mm -hmm. and you couldn't recognize it unless you knew exactly where it was. Now, what do you think about, I, I hope I don't mispronounce his name, uh, fantastic research, uh, Stroitfurt, is that his name, the guy who owns Bigfoot Books? Down in uh, Willow Creek? Ah, I, we call him Angel Eyes. <laughs> Angel Eyes. Yeah, now he, he, he did a fantastic job in recent years establishing that most of, you know, the stumps yeah. and the big tree and most of the uh, known landmarks of the original film site are actually still there. Yeah, pretty amazing they're just stuff. They're just buried in 30-foot second-growth forest now. It's not a clearing anymore. Yeah. Basically, to find the place, you just go down... Uh, 12 and 13 to where the bat box is, walk to, to the creek, turn right, and when you get to a point where the where it is straight as an arrow with high ridges, that's known as the bowling alley. Before you enter the bowling alley, look north, that's the film site. Yeah. Yeah. But he's got all the, the GPS coordinates and everything. Yeah, everything. He did a fantastic job. Yeah. Me, I'm way up here in Canada, so I can't go down there a lot. Yeah. I was really hoping to go down this year for the 50th anniversary, but we couldn't go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Thomas. You're welcome.